welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy that you were able to click on that link to watch this video. So now in this video here, it falls directly in the line of my engineering series of how I went to share my story um, while I was studying engineering in college. So a couple of videos back, I shared with you all on how I chose to study civil engineering in college and I received a request right here and they asked if I can share my experience on how to excel in math and science courses in college while you're trying to prepare your studies for engineering. If y'all like to know how I got through the math and science courses to go on to study civil engineering, then please keep on watching. Okay, so now you have started college and you have declared your major in engineering. So now you have to take these core math and science classes. These classes were very challenging, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why. In the beginning, I was not as focused as I should have been, but I used to try to understand how they solved the problem before I understood the concept. So I was doing stuff backwards, like I was trying to understand problems backwards. It's like you gotta understand the definition of why you're even solving this problem, like how, what, like what type of approach that you're using and why you're using that approach if you see this type of problem. Like those were, those were the things that had to like kind of reverse back <laughs> and put it back into alignment that like I'm, I was doing stuff backwards. Calc one, calc one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I had a particular professor who he taught the class very theory based, which threw me off a little bit because you had a lot of students in there that were math majors. So they may know how to grasp the concept in a different way. And me, I'm just like, just give me the formula and let me solve the problem. And that's how a lot of engineering students are. They, they're like, okay, we just need to know the formula why we need to know that formula and apply it to the problem. That's it. <laughs> so it was so theory based and I got so frustrated because I did not take the time to really understand the theory. It was harder for me to apply the concept and it was harder for me to use the approaches to solve the problems. Unfortunately, <laughs> I came out of that class with a D. Just to be honest, I did not make straight A's in the beginning when I took my math and science classes and all that. So I had to retake Calculus 1 and I had to make sure I retool my thinking, retool my focus, retool my habits. So math teachers, they'll teach you theory and then they'll teach you the concept. When it comes to solving problems and homework problems and all that, always make sure you focus on concept. You know, as an engineering student, we have to like focus on concept. Like, yes, we have to understand the theory, but really, really focus on that concept first. Make sure you understand that. Make sure it is embedded in you. What really helped me was I understood, I had to understand the concept. Make sure I study that concept first. If I have any questions about the concept, I can go ahead and ask questions early on. And then I start applying it to the problems. And when I start solving the problems, it becomes easier and easier. What really helped me was to like solve the problems over and over again so that the concept is embedded in me. So another way that was helpful for my math courses was recording the teacher's voice, <laughs> recording the lecture with um, using voice memos on your phone, that helped me out so much because I had teachers who taught very fast. <laughs> they taught so fast, but they taught very well. And um, some things I was not able to catch on while they were talking because they can have like written notes on the board and you're taking notes and all of that. But certain hints and, and tricks and tips that they say like verbally that they don't show on the board, Sometimes I may miss that. Using voice memos, you're actually able to fill in those blanks. So definitely make sure 
if it's not said in the syllabus or whatever, do make sure that it is okay with your teacher that you can record. And another way that really helped me to succeed in my math courses was videos. Oh my gosh, there are so many videos out there on YouTube that cover different topics in math. If you felt confused on a certain problem or a certain concept, just type in the, um, the concept. Don't type in like the exact problem and all of that. Be like, oh, you know, the derivative of this such and such X over whatever. Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that because you'll be frustrated that you can't find the problem. Google or YouTube the like the concept, how to solve for determinants or how to solve for derivatives, how to solve for integrals. Like, a teacher may teach it in one way and if you're not getting that concept, there will be somebody else who can teach it in a much simpler way so that it's very easy for you to grasp it. Once you get that concept from them and then it'll be easier for you to understand it when you get back to your class and when you're doing your homework, everything will feel much better while you're learning and applying it to your problems and all that. So definitely YouTube videos really helped me out with certain types of problems, certain types of concepts that I didn't easily grasp at first. When I saw those videos, they really helped me out. Once I um, see it from a different resource, it really like brought everything together. So for the science classes, I had to really understand it's just like math. Make sure you have very good resources that you can pull from, like either um, somebody who has a very good YouTube channel that can tutor very well in that area. But definitely make sure you check with your teacher first. Make sure you, if you understand the concept from your teacher first before you go and asking questions outside. But definitely make sure you understand the concept with the teacher. If it does feel like something else is missing, I would recommend that you find an online tutor or a tutor that you can find on campus. But yeah, definitely make sure you can find that help so that you'll be able to succeed in that class. So I really hope that these tips of how I was able to do better in my uh, math and science courses and to let you know that uh, my grades were not perfect while I was taking math and science and I just want to encourage you that you can get through these classes no matter what you can get through these classes because I was so frustrated in the beginning and I thought like oh my gosh like what am I doing in these classes but I really had to make sure I understood that if this is the major that I want to be in, if this is what I want to do, if this is a passion that is just sitting in my heart that I want to do for my future, then I know that I have to succeed in these classes. I know I'm going to succeed in these classes. I may do it in different ways. Um, and all ways are good, <laughs> okay, all the ways are good. And even though everybody learns different, everybody processes the information different, so um, everybody is not gonna like have the same type of way of learning the material, but you find your way of what works for you. Make sure if you're a visual learner, make sure you can find different videos. Make sure you can like draw out the problem or you can put it in different notes like different letterings and different colors to make sure that these concepts are you know seriously embedded into the back of your brain because a lot of these concepts will pop back up in your future engineering classes. So I'm really happy that I'm able to have this series for you all because this whole series is to help encourage you as you're going on with your college studies because I want to make sure that you all stay encouraged and stay motivated so that you can get to that level that you want to be in. So yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below any tips or tricks that you found very helpful in your journey while you were taking math and science classes in college. And if you'd like to join this family, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be alerted when I post my next upload. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.